conclusion of tonight's private reel with David Bowie. There are two approaches to making a video. One is to spend a lot of money and produce a high-gloss kind of product. And the other is uh, a very sort of radical and uh, ideas build kind of video. Um, I tend to fluctuate between both. I like spending a lot of money on videos, and I like doing them very cheaply as well. Two of the more expensive videos that I made were the ones that uh, I made in Australia. Half the expense was getting everybody over there. Um, I chose Australia for Let's Dance and uh, China Girl because the, uh, the look of the landscape is so radically different to anywhere else in the world. And I wanted to have some disorienting effect with uh, the landscape. Um, Sydney, right in the middle of the Australian flatland provided that look. Like most videos I do, the, my approach to um, making it is to um, work on a storyboard first, which is a series of drawings which trace the story of the film. Um, after I've done that, I work out with my co-director, an Englishman called David Mallet, technically how we can achieve some of the effects that I want. And then we follow the storyboard through camera and uh, really pre-edit with the storyboard. I know how the editing's going to be before we've done the thing. Um, we just follow the storyboard to its conclusion. That's what we did with China. Oh. Newer bands have had a lot more exposure recently, but it, uh, unfortunately that only lies with the ones who are uh, visually oriented. It's, as I say, it's, it's very hard for bands who concentrate solely on their music to really get any kind of showing and now videos become so much part and parcel of the merchandising of music that uh, the more serious um, composer style artist is probably going to find it hard to get his stuff out there i think there has to come a time when uh, the, the budgets on videos will go down sharply um, at the moment it's it's pretty unfair on a lot of lesser known artists um, making videos because the, the, it's now expected uh, to, to see such a high standard of, uh, of, of filming that only the major artists are going to be able to afford to get their videos shown on TV because TV demands that it's very glossy. Um, that's got to change, otherwise it, the bands who are going to be seen are going to be fewer and fewer. Um, and there's going to be a monopoly caused. So I dare say the revolution in the second revolution of video is not far off, where cheaper budget videos will come back with an impact.